we're back it is memorial weekend tomorrow is monday and it felt like a good time to revisit mr conrad stevenson and actually investigate connor uh, connor is a garage ghost i'm missing some evidence from him and today seemed like the perfect time to do that uh, in the in the eve of memorial day so uh, it was our first place that we went to basically uh, dear Conrad, my family, and I moved into dream, our dream home on Evergreen Lane about a year ago. It's an old farmhouse without the rest of the farm property. The home has been renovated many times over the years, so it has a fresh and inviting feel. Unfortunately, however, my husband and I are convinced the home is haunted. I believe I was the first to experience anything supernatural. I began hearing odd sounds like footsteps coming from upstairs while I was home alone on the main floor. My husband would tell me that I was just hearing things until he had an experience himself. He was in a garage a few months back and swears to have seen a man of average build suddenly appear. At first he thought someone had broken into the garage, but then he made eye contact with them and he made a violent choking sound and vanished. Since then, my husband has been more sympathetic to my concerns. All right, that's actually all I care about at the moment, <laughs> since this is about, we, we know who it is, it's Connor. Um, let's see. All right, community mourns suicide. Louise noticed that her son was not the same person after coming back from the war. Robert witnessed horrible things while he was away at war. His unit was in the thick of a horrendous bloody fighting. And once he came home, the trauma was something he could not escape. He was filled with nightly flashbacks and would wake with feelings of terror, like he was still in the trenches. His family saw the immense... I'm going to say pressure. Uh, he returned home without many of his friends, as they were left behind and buried in the soil of a foreign land. After a few years of being home, he became dependent on habits he could not break away from. His family tried to console him, but ultimately could not uh, alleviate his pain. In 1961, at the age of 37, he gave in to sadness and took his own life in the very same garage he and his father bonded over. All right, uh, we have uh, a police report on September 9th. At 5.02 a.m., received a call from a Paul Connor stating that he found his son, Robert Connor, hanging in their family's garage. Upon arriving at the scene at 5.28 a.m., I observed Robert Connor's body hanging from the garage's door's opener track. I determined that emergency service were of no use and decided to call for the coroner, Mary Byler. I discussed with Paul Connor, who was especially upset. He thought he was to blame for Robert's death because he was always berating his son for being a drunk and needing to get a job. Lois Connor, Robert's mother, appeared to be in a state of shock and could not communicate. She was not violent, not obscene, but could not be settled down. After Coroner Byler arrived, she pulled Louise from Robert's body so she conduct an on-scene investigation. An interview with both Paul and Louise Connor and discussing with the coroner, I determined that the scene that Robert Connor acted alone and that no foul play was involved. Actions taken, cordon the area, and called in the coroner. Initial conclusion, died by hanging. I guess for now we'll go <laughs> with that. Alright, so we got our flashlight. Grab our camp. All right, we'll start with our normal, our normals. This is Connor right here, Robert Connor. We're gonna go see what he has to say about anything. <laughs> It seems like the Wentz family isn't worried about their safety. Although it does seem like they're pretty startled when experiencing something they think is paranormal. I'm sure I'll be able to find enough evidence to support their claims and put their minds at ease. All 
All right, we're going to head straight for the garage. I will head back to the lighthouse uh, soon, I promise. We're not done there. I don't know why I turned that light on. We actually don't need it on. These lights are acting funny. I should continue investigating. too late on that. <laughs> Connor usually hangs in this hallway here, so we're gonna go ahead and put here. BMF meter should not behave this way. This is paranormal. Sweet. Get rid of this, and we're going to go grab another tool. Actually, we don't need that because we... I swear every time I walk up to that, I keep expecting to see a silhouette of a person in that window there. Hmm, these temp readings are unusual. Something is going on here. These temperature readings are definitely paranormal. Thanks, Connor, for taking off all the things that we needed to get done on and out of the way. Did I just accidentally put that down? I did. Playing way too many games. Forget what the controls are. Ooh, that is eerie audio evidence. So usually how I play is I turn the volume as loud as it will go on my headset.
There's an update that's being in the works. It's going to be a banishment uh, release. Uh, we find an artifact and we'll... Uh... Wow, that's great audio evidence. <laughs> And I have a sneaky suspicion that that is why this door is locked. I have a feeling it's going to be up there. <laughs> Who is that? I'm glad I captured it with a recorder. Camera went off, I saw it. I didn't see him, but I saw what's going on. That was a very unusual noise. I'll keep that as evidence. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Yes, sir. Incredible. I, I really think this ghost is trying to tell me something. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? It's here. Oh, all right. Uh, for those that are new to to the channel, sorry, the ghost boiling distracted me. Uh, for those that are new to this playlist. Being distracted by him chatting. <laughs> that was terrifying. That's extraordinary audio evidence. That I must have caught before and didn't notice. That was him choking. Forgotten that sound. Anyway, as I keep trying to say, but Connor has a lot to say on top of me. Um for anyone who's new to this uh, playlist, uh, I do go through all the questions, but I don't necessarily show you me going through them when they don't answer, uh, just so you know. So if there's a little jump cut there, that's uh, the noise of asking the question. Ooh. Oh, Connor. That's extraordinary audio evidence. I actually wasn't thinking he was going to show up behind me because his ghostly wells are gone. Shoot. Hi, buddy. Yeah. That's extraordinary audio evidence. Wow, that's great audio evidence. Ooh, that is eerie audio evidence. Oh, Jack. That's like, extraordinary audio evidence. You've heard it before, dude. There is an ambient sound that happens in the background of uh, ghostly whales. And that is to let you know that you are in the correct area. Connor, I am missing one thing from you. 
it so kindly. Say it, please. Ghostly wells stopped. Oh. Oop. We're back. <laughs> that was a very unusual noise. I'll keep that as evidence. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Do you know why I'm here? Do you know why I'm here? How many people are here other than me? How many people are here other than me? Can you tell me your name? Can you tell me your name? I'm slightly frustrated and I don't know what sound I'm missing. It used to be, it has to be, I thought, one of the new equipment because uh, I had it. He, he had all of his dialogue before. Oh. Oh my gosh, his eyes were red. What was that? I'm glad I captured it with a recorder. Can you tell me your name? Why are you here? Do you like the current family living here? Is this your home? We can't breathe. Wow, I, I really think someone is trying to communicate with me. How many people are here other than me? I'm all alone. Wow, I, I really think someone is trying to communicate with me. Do you know why I'm here? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? I 
his problems were ignored. Hurt. Can you tell me your name? Why are you here? Do you like the current family living here? Is this your home? Incredible. I, I really think this ghost is trying to tell me something. How many people are here other than me? The ghost sound stopped. Does it still have a tape deck? This car still has a tape deck. Oh, they're back. This takes me uh, getting focused on the R. That's extraordinary audio evidence. Honor, it really, or Conrad, it really isn't. It's just him footsteps. We've heard it a dozen times. I'll keep that as audio evidence. I'm starting to think that the audio, the last audio I'm looking for is broken. That's a tape deck, right? Pretty sure it is. Can't get to the truck. I could if I opened the garage door, but I'd just be silly. Ooh, that is eerie audio evidence. I have two recycle cans? Why do they have two recycle cans? Or is it one one garbage and one recycle? Oh, man. Honor, can you give me my last bit of evidence, please? I just need that one last sound. You can talk to me, it's okay. <laughs> Was that a no? What was that? I'm glad I captured it with a recorder. Oh, Connor, because you were brave and wanted to fight for your country. Sadly, you saw things you didn't think you were going to. 
And then you came home, and nobody had any answers, and they want to listen to your pain, so they let you suffer. Who is that? I'm glad I captured it with a recorder. And because, Connor, you came back and the wounds you had were wounds that people couldn't see and so they didn't think it was that bad. And so they gave you no answers. They thought, oh, it'll be an easy fix. He just needs time. <laughs> Ooh, that is eerie audio evidence. I know. Are we always able to play with that? I wonder if he can play with that. <laughs> I'll keep that as audio evidence. Okay, now that I made myself really sad. <laughs> that was a very unusual noise. I'll keep that as evidence. <laughs> that light flashing on the windshield startles me every time. I don't think I ever noticed that this could open. Did you know this could open, buddy? I didn't know. Uh oh, did I now break it? I want it to close. Oh. What's on those tracks? Oh, he's walking down the... I... Who is that? I'm glad I captured it with a recorder. Is it normal for a garage to have, like, a door there and a door there? I've always seen them side by side, never on opposite sides of the building. And I guess it's not a bad thing. Ooh, that is eerie audio evidence. It is a bit freaky to see the camera go, uh, especially if you're like in another room and you can see it go off or hear it go off. It is a bit uh, startling. <laughs> but I like it. I like it. Alright, I don't know what the last question is. This has not been the first time that I've come here and I've tried to get the, the last bit from him and he hasn't been kind enough to tell me.
So I want to say again to you, your family, and all your loved ones, I hope you guys have a great Memorial Weekend. And uh, in honor of all the Robert honors out there, thank you for your service. Guys, I will see you on the next episode. How rare to take a photo of a ghost. So many pictures of him. Alright. Bye, Connor.